I was able to listen to Jay-Z, Made in America by um, Michael Eric Dyson. And it is an audiobook that is read by the author. And if you ever read or heard him speak, you know that he has an extensive vocabulary. And so um, this book was classic Mr. Dyson. Um, he uses Jay-Z's lyrics to speak about issues in black culture, um, art. He even um, talks about the main theme of Jay-Z's lyrics, which I never really paid any attention to because I'm not a huge Jay-Z fan because growing up where I grew up in the South, um, I tend to, to listen more to Southern rappers like Outkast, T.I., those generally who I listen to. So I wasn't all that familiar with a whole lot of Jay-Z's lyrics. So he talks about hustling being the primary theme of Jay-Z's um, Jay body of work and how it compares to the American society, especially when it comes to black people. It is a very intelligent book. If you're looking for it to say something that... Um, like breaks down every one of Jay-Z's lyrics. I don't think it necessarily does that, but it does put his lyrics into context of greater society. So keeping with that rap theme, I read when rap spoke uh, straight to God, and this is a book length poem, and it's by Erica Dawson. I wasn't familiar with the poet at all, so but I had seen this book advertised in a couple of places. And I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And what she does is fuses rap lyrics with scripture. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't really get a whole lot of the poem. She speaks about a lot of different subjects. I just really, I was very uncomfortable with um, her use of profanity directly linked to scripture and something sacred and it just it just didn't really sit well with my spirit so i just um i would say you have to look, read it for yourself um uh, i wasn't a fan of it didn't really get it the next book i read was tempest and that is by beverly jenkins and it's a historical romance novel Musical Tati told me that I needed to finish the series, so I'm blaming it on her <laughs> because I did read the first two books in the Old West series in which this is set, and this takes up the story of uh, Reagan Carmichael, who um, is the youngest sister in the the two sisters that uh, are in the series, and she goes on an adventure to be a mail order bride, and she goes to the Wyoming Territory during the um late 1800s and it is a fabulous read <laughs> i got so engrossed i was so upset every time i had to put the book down and get it done i probably if i had had a chance i probably could have read in three hours flat no problem but you know life takes its, its way but um i would definitely say pick up beverly jenkins out of the um the trilogy of the old west series i like the first one best, this one second, and then the, the second book I liked the least. But it wasn't a bad the second book wasn't a bad book. It just didn't compare up to the first one for me. I finished reading well listening to From Scratch by Timby Law. And she is an actress and um she was married to a guy from Sicily and this is their love story including him dying at a young age of cancer. And she writes it not in a linear style. She um, uses a series of flashbacks. She te starts telling the story of his sickness and him dying, but at the same time, she'll go back and talk about how they met 20 years prior to his death. It was a very good story. Timby is from East Texas and she talked about highway 59 and some of you may can guess who her sister is based off of being from east texas and highway 59 <laughs> so i don't want to give uh too much of her story away but i thought it was good um especially if you're a fan of italian food she talks a lot about different foods that are native to italy and some of the dishes that her husband made 
because of his work as a chef. And I noticed that this is the second book that I've read by um, someone who has lost a loved one, that a, a spouse that they truly loved and had a good relationship with. And I said, I hope that I'm not about to start on being uh, this being a favorite of mine because both of them were written so well. Hope y'all can see me okay. Today is the first day we've had some uh bright sunshine and so it's taking some getting used to being outside in the sun um i wanted to talk about a audiobook i listened to and that is the deep by rivers solomon and this is a sci-fi book i don't know why i was thinking about getting this book and it's about um the descendants of impregnant uh the descendants of pregnant um Africans who were thrown overboard during the Middle Passage. And to me, it sounded like it was a good idea. It sounded like it would be an interesting story, but I just didn't get it. Me and sci-fi just don't click. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I am going to link a link reviews from Musical Tati and Najiri from Onyx Pages. They, they're they're sci-fi fans and so they can explain the story a whole lot better i thought the writing was good and then um the narrator for the audiobook was fantastic it was um david diggs who is a member of a group that actually has a song about this story that river solomon took the that song and and did it actually was the third iteration of this story so check out their reviews i I can't do the book justice because I didn't even understand. The last book I finished for the month is The Last Thing You Surrender by Leonard Pitts. And it was the hashtag read so lit read along book. And I already had the book because I had gotten it when it was on sale on Kindle for $1.99. So I was I already had it. So it's kind of um it's also a backlist. Uh, book for me because I've had it for a couple months um, because I got it on sale and it is a World War II novel and it shows the different experiences of people living in Alabama surrounding that time and you have th essentially three main characters um, Thelma, her brother and a white guy named George and so <clears throat> I would encourage anyone to read it because Mr. Pitts has a wonderful use of language. I'm not a big wartime novel um, person, but I actually enjoyed the battle scenes and when um, the characters were actually in a war setting. And it was it was really good. I will leave a link to the live discussion that um, Brown Girl Reading did on her um, channel. And... I think it would be fascinating for you to uh, take a look at. Um, if February was a great reading month, I hope you had one too. Thanks for watching and have a great day.